What's up everyone? I'm Michael. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. You all know this is my favorite shoe that I always speak so highly of, so I figured I'd just do a video dedicated to it. I kind of do one every season really, so I figured I'd just do a video dedicated specifically to Birkenstock clogs, just showing you all different ways to style them as we head into the spring season, which is like in a week or two. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> So like I said, this is basically one of my favorite shoes or sandals, whatever you want to call it to wear. They could go with pretty much anything. Actually, I feel like they can go with anything from dress pants to chinos to jeans to sweatpants and just regular shorts, whether it's like the denim shorts or some chino shorts or some, I don't know, like athletic shorts or sweat shorts, you know, all those different combinations. I feel like you can wear Birkenstock clogs with them. Me personally, when I wear them, I'm usually going for just like a chill vibe or well, the shoes give off a chill vibe, but usually I'm wearing it with like sweats or some sweat shorts or a hoodie sweatshirt, you know, just those kind of things. And during the summertime, just a simple t-shirt and a pair of shorts is usually how I'm going to be wearing my Birkenstock clogs, but there are various ways that they can be styled. So just jumping on into the first outfit here, and this is kind of the main way that I'd be styling it this spring season. It's just a simple sweatshirt and a pair of shorts. And these are kind of the athletic shorts that I was referring to, you know, just kind of like that swim trunk nylon like material. And as you see here, just a regular black sweatshirt, a t shirt on under it that may be a lot for the spring season or it could be just right you know just depending on the temperature depending on what you're wearing and like i said those uh green shorts and he paired those with birkenstock clogs and usually with the socks i just kind of prefer them to have like some bit of a scrunch or ruffle in them you know like don't pull them all the way up to your knees and just don't have them all the way down at your ankle you know just kind of like a, a little scrunch between the socks I, i'm really not sure if i'm explaining it right but don't pull them all the way up, don't have them all the way down, you know, just kind of like in between, if that makes sense. And the Birkenstock clogs, I usually, well, I have two pairs actually, the tan ones and the black ones, and I usually wear my tan ones just because they, I don't know, that was the first pair that I got and the one that I fell in love with, but I do have a black pair as well that I don't wear as much. And in regards to accessories here, he has on a lanyard, necklace, whatever you want to call it, a bracelet, the sunglasses, the hat. So these are all the different accessories that I'm talking about just to help spruce up your outfits that you're wearing and to make them look better. Now this next one here is a bit more dressed up. And as you see, he has on a button down and that tank top tucked in under the button down. And I love that combination. That's one of my favorite things to see people wear, especially during the spring, summer and fall. Well, that's kind of the only time of year you can't wear it in the spring, summer and fall. But anyway, as you see here, this is kind of like a mint green colored button down I'm really not sure what color that is with the tank top tucked in and with the pants I want to say these are chinos if I'm not mistaken because they look like they could be like some white jeans but I'm just gonna go with chinos for the sake of the video and uh, he paired them with those same tan Birkenstock clogs and I think this is the original color I'm not sure if there is one or not but I think this is it I want to say they're called like a Boston taupe if I'm not mistaken um, anyway I just love the different combinations that you can do with these shoes and in regards to accessories I see he has on a necklace and the hat I guess you know just those different accessories to make the outfit look better and in the intro to the video I mentioned how you can wear them with like denim shorts as well so this is just another example of the denim shorts and as you see here he has on one of those outfit combinations which is like a hoodie or sweatshirt with a pair of shorts and I feel like that kind of works best during this time of year because it's like an outfit that has you not too cold and not too warm and it's just that perfect in between in my opinion so here he has on this mocha brown sweater and it looks like he may have on like a, a button down on under it or it could just be a polo just so you can have the look with the collar on under the uh sweater or sweatshirt whatever it may be uh those denim shorts that i mentioned earlier and the denim shorts i feel like they look best if they kind of like go to the knee nothing too short or too long you know nothing like capri length but you know nothing too short or too long and those same Birkenstock clogs that I mentioned and like I mentioned with the socks you know they have a bit of a ruffle or a scrunch on them they're not pulled all the way up to the knee or all the way down at your ankles and in regards to accessories you can't really see everything because he's turned to the side but I do see the hat so you know just one accessory that I can see to make the outfit look better. Another way that I love styling them is just with the simple button down and a pair of jeans or chinos, but for the sake of this outfit, pair of jeans. It just kind of gives that super casual, but also chill vibe that you may be going for. And I hate the word vibe, but just that chill vibe that you may be going for. And as you see here, he has on this uh, light blue colored button down. And that light blue color is just, it just seems like a staple for the summertime. I don't know why, but that color just seems like, it just seems very summer. E to me anyway uh, I usually wear my button downs with the sleeves kind of rolled up a bit or cuffed whatever you want to call it and with the jeans he has one cuff in the jeans and I do actually kind of like that look when it's paired with like sandals or clogs like this 
And this is actually a camel color, if I'm not mistaken, in the clogs. Anyway, the outfit still looks nice. I'm not seeing any accessories though, and it will look better if you have on necklaces or I believe, yeah, you can see them. The different necklaces and stuff under the button down, especially if you're gonna have like the top two buttons unbuttoned, it wouldn't hurt to throw on some necklaces to just help out the outfit. And finally here, this one is a bit more streetwear, I guess you could say. And this guy has on just a regular zip up hoodie. I have no idea what brand that could be, but this outfit just seems very spring to me. Just, if you just look at it, it just looks like like I don't know, mid 70s or something, maybe low 70s. Anyway, the zip up hoodie, under that the tank top and he's wearing just a regular pair of jeans and these are some straight leg jeans, they're not baggy, not skinny, you know, just a regular pair of straight leg jeans. I wanna say these are kinda of like a medium wash as well. They're not like a light wash or a dark wash. And he paired those with the same clogs as the last outfit. And I wanna say it's camel color. I'm not sure of the specific color like they would have on their website or something, but it's just kind of like that camel color since a lot of coats come in that color and they call that camel. So that's the reason I'm calling this camel here. And in regards to accessories, I'm seeing the necklace and the hat. And I think that may be it. But you know, just wear your different accessories in moderation to help out your outfit and just to make it look better. So those are just some different ways that I want to show you all to style Birkenstock clogs as we head into the spring season. And like I said, a lot of these are pretty obvious, but I know a lot of people just need different visuals, you know, just to help kind of give them that inspiration and different ideas that they may need. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel because I post in here twice a week. And follow me over on Instagram as well, at Micah Aikens, just so you can keep up with me, see everything that I'm doing, see what I'm wearing, and I will see you all in the next video.